morning guys. It's been a very, very long time since I've made one of these videos. I literally haven't sat in front of the camera and just chit chatted in a very, very long time, maybe like five months. First things first, I just finished up my last of seven midnight shifts in a row. So we just got home about an hour ago. I took out the drone this morning a little bit just by the lake. Now I'm here. Second thing, I'm going to Florida again in a couple days, which I'm super excited for. I've just been like working so much and being kind of a hermit. So I'm really looking forward to getting out of here. Plus the weather's been terrible, but as luck would have it, it's gonna be 17 and sunny the day I leave. So that's, that's, that's good, that's fine. Third thing, as some of you guys know, I've been growing my hair out for about two and a half years, maybe three, ever since I kind of had a bout with cancer. I was like, I wanna grow my hair and I wanna donate it. I'm at 10 inches, which is sort of the minimum standard for donation. So today's the day that I'm gonna go get these locks chopped. It's nice, you know, it's great to have long hair, but when you wake up every morning with like a long hair down your throat somehow, it's not very pleasant. Emptying your shower drain every two days because the hair clogs it and now you've got a backup of soapy, dirty water up to your ankles. I'm just not feeling it anymore, to be honest with you. We gotta do this, we're doing this today. It's going down, I've made my appointment. I'm going down to a place called Upper Management. It's just down the way from here. I think it's like five minute drive. I'm gonna take my boost aboard though, because it's so close and it's been a long time since I've been on that bad boy too. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I haven't had a haircut in so long. I'll just ask for the Justin Bieber maybe and see what I get. Um, really haven't thought this out actually. The charity that I am donating to is called Locks of Love. You've probably already heard of it. It's like the number one charity to donate your hair to. Basically they receive hair from people and they've got wig masters that will craft a wig for a kid. A lot of the donations, they go towards kids with alopecia, but there's also other kids, you know, who are going through cancer and they've been through chemotherapy, burn victims, children who, who can't grow hair. So the cool thing about Locks of Love is their headquarters is actually a half hour drive from where I stay in Florida. My plan is to cut it today and on Monday when I leave, I'm just gonna like pack it in my suitcase. Hopefully they don't search my suitcase and be like, why does this guy have like a 10 inch ponytail? just hanging out. I wanna go to the headquarters and kind of see what it's all about. Maybe ask them a few questions. If you want, you can check out the website. There's a ton of information and I'll leave the link down in the description. Check it out. There's a lot of different ways you guys can donate if you'd like to. I'm gonna get cleaned up, take a shower, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna head down to the barbershop. Maybe get a little sweet B-roll action in there. Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in a bit for the death of my hair. Let's go. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I think it looks great. My camera kind of died halfway through. Always charge your battery before an important event. Anything that, you know, you might need battery for to document. I think Jordan did a great job over at Upper Management. Yeah, I got a ton of hair. Also, I'm kind of feeling like a Swedish supermodel, so I might start going by the name Sven. Let me show you, hang on, how much hair we got. Yeah, peep this. Look at all of this. Honestly, I feel so much lighter, but the back of my head is chilly. Okay, I'm gonna put this thing down, go out and enjoy the rest of the day, and I will see you when we get to Florida. Peace.
Good morning, guys. Welcome to sunny Florida. I don't know if you guys can see outside, but today's the day. We're gonna go to Locks of Love, donate this hair. So we're gonna hit the road and bring you guys along with me. I'm stoked. Let's go. Good, how are you? Good, how can I help you? I just wanted to make a donation. donation? Yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm just filming for That's a... really cool. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't bring you guys along for a tour with me. I guess based on the fact that they have like pictures of their donors and uh, recipients and stuff like that. So just confidentiality issues, but it's pretty cool. The lady I met was Francesca. And she just kind of showed me around, showed me where all uh, the magic happens. Basically, they're uh, mostly volunteers there. They kind of rely on volunteers. She showed me the mail room. Uh, there was a couple ladies there opening mail. Basically, they take the hair out, make sure it's not wet, make sure it's not damaged, anything like that. Then they'll measure it from there, make sure it's about 10 inches. That's the minimum requirement. They'll put them to the side and then they have a guy in there as well. And he'll sort the hair based on color. I don't know, there was probably like 10 bins. So much hair, there's so much hair. From there, they'll pass it on to the wig maker. She told me it takes about 10 different ponytails from different um, donors to make one wig. Yeah, that was just like a really cool thing to do. I wish I could have brought you guys along with me, but I don't, I don't think I'll be growing my hair again but that was a very cool experience. So I'll end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Link's in the description um, for Locks of Love. And if you have any questions, just feel free to uh, message me. Peace.